Next class is Moral Ambiguity. Ambiguity. I'm an English major. Hey guys, it's Angela, and today I'm going to be telling you my June TBR for the Biblio Games. So if you don't already know, the Biblio Games are hosted by Mayana from Little Wolf Reads, and essentially it's a read-along where you try to read as many pages as possible, and you keep track of them daily. So each time we've done this, or she's done this, there's been different themes. So this round's theme is Sky High, and I am on Team Antihero, and this time I'm a host, and I'm super excited. So thank you so much, my honor, for the opportunity to be a host. My other co-host is one of my good friends, Jake, from Jake Does Books. So this time around, there are some challenges which you can complete and add another, like, 50 pages to your overall page count and there are three main class challenges and three other challenges. So one of the first challenges is a main class challenge and that is to read the group book. So the group book for anti-heroes is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is a story about superhumans and I'm pretty sure it's kind of like morally gray, don't quote me on that. But I do know that it's like villains and superheroes and anti-heroes and it's really hyped here on booktube. It is a trilogy, I believe, and I'm really excited to read it. The next main class challenge is Jim, and that is read a book in a format that you don't typically read. And for this, I picked Orange, which is a manga, and because the month of June has already started, I have already started it, but I usually don't read manga. I read the first volume of Orange during the last round of the Biblio games, and so I figured let's be on brand and read the next volume, this is a story about a group of kids in high school that get a letter from their future self basically trying to prevent someone's suicide, so if you trigger warning here for suicide, but it's really good. I give the first volume five stars and I probably will give this one five stars too. The next main class is read a book with a satisfying ending and for that I'm reading Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. Um, it's the third book in the Twilight series. If you don't know what Twilight's about, I don't really feel like explaining it, but it's essentially vampires and it's, it could be considered trashy YA, which like spoiler alert is another thing that, another prompt that's going to be in here. But yeah, I'm going to read Eclipse. She's thick. Um, she's yellow because this is the book I originally read. So I think I'm going to listen to the audiobook because like I'm really weird and I don't want to like touch it. <laughs> So the next class is Moral Ambiguity. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that is to read a trashy YA novel. So I'm going to be reading The Lux Bind-Up of Opal and Origin. This book was sent to me by my wonderful friend, Chelsea Palmer. I'll leave her channel link down below. I love her so much. This is the third and fourth book in the Lux series, which is like a good old run-of-the-mill trashy YA series with um, aliens. And I'm here for it, and I'm enjoying it. So yeah. Our next class is Witty Banter and for this I'll be reading The Bassoon King by Rain Wilson. Rain Wilson plays Dwight Schrute on The Office. I love The Office and I love Dwight Schrute so I'll be listening to the audiobook which is narrated by him. And I assume it's going to be funny because it said comedy so yeah. Finally the last class for the Antiheroes team is Alter Ego which is have a person from another team pick a book for you. And for the book I'm going to be reading, it's going to be The Royal We, which was picked for me by my friend Katie from Katie's Book Nook. And she is actually the Heroes host. So yeah, that's really cool. And it's basically, the cover totally gives me, like, the royal wedding vibes. Um, but between Will and Kate specifically, because I feel like this is kind of what they looked like. Um, but anyway, it's basically a royal love story and I'm really into that at the moment and I'm really excited to read it. It's kind of, she's kind of thick, but yeah. So now let's get into the rest of the books I'm going to be reading. The first book is Anya's Ghost and this is a graphic novel by Vera Broskow and it's basically about a high school girl that suddenly becomes followed around by a ghost due to certain, certain circumstances and she kind of like has sort of an eating disorder. She has a lot of poor body image and self-esteem issues. So in that sense, it's really relatable. And I've actually already read it because it's June 3rd when I'm, put, when I'm filming this. So the next book is Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the third book in the Illuminae trilogy. And it's basically forming the gap between the first two characters introduced in Illuminae 
and the second two characters introduced in Gemina. This is a series, a sci-fi series told in mixed media format, and I think that's kind of all you should know going into it, because if that's all you do know, you're kind of like more blown away, if you will. But I really enjoyed the first two books, so I'm really excited for this. Next book is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. This is a fae story about two kids, teenagers, whatever they are, named Hazel and Ben that basically see this boy in a sleeping glass coffin in Faye and one day he comes to life. And I'm really excited about this because I love the cruel prince and the wicked king and Holly Black writes Faye really well. So I'm excited to read Faye that aren't specifically like within that world. Next book we have is my favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. Uh, Christina Lauren is a really popular romance duo. It's two people, not one. They're under a pen name. But yeah, I'm really excited to read my first book that I've ever read by them. This is kind of, I think, almost like a Tinder situation with like online dating, but I think the girl has a different online persona, so I don't know if someone's going to get catfished. But I've heard good things, so I'm really excited to see what happens here. Next we have an audiobook, which I'm listening to, and that is The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried by Sean David Hutchinson. Like I said before, it is June 3rd, and I'm a little late. <laughs> so I've already started this, and I'm about halfway through. And this book is about a boy named Dino whose parents own a funeral home, and his ex-best friend July has recently passed away, and he's, like, preparing her body because that's what he does. And she like comes back to life, but she's not completely back to life. She's still in a corpse, almost zombie-like state. So they're basically trying to figure out, one, what the heck is happening, like why are you alive, but also like not alive. And two, what happened that really made them and their friendship fall apart. And yeah, it's a really fun, short, and dark book, which I'm really enjoying so far, and I'm excited to finish this month. So that is it for my June TBR. It's a little bit ambitious, but so am I. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll be able to get all these books read and then even more books on top of it when I come back with my wrap-up. Thank you again, Mayana, for creating the Biblio Games and just bringing everyone together to have this fun, friendly, and a little bit competitive competition. And good luck to everyone participating, and good luck to all the teams. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good one. Bye!